the seven rules of money to build a life-changing financial success. Right? And what is the first rule? Let's go back to memory lane. Everybody sitting here, I'm sure you've gotten money passed through your hands, right? And maybe being a teenager, you are earning something, and now you're working, you're earning something. Maybe the question is uncomfortable, but I will ask, how much money do you think has passed through your hands, and how much money do you have left in your wallet? You don't need to answer that. You really don't, because I've been there. So you don't need to sweat it, but that's why we're here. The first rule of money is we must see money as a game. Money is a game, right? It's a game. It's like anything else. You develop your muscle, it's going to work for you. It's like someone playing chess or soccer or anything. I'm not a good soccer player. I used to be, but I'm not a good soccer player anymore. I probably can go play with my kid and he's going to make me look like I, I don't even exist, right? Because he's been practicing it and I haven't. And that's why we call money as a game and anyone can learn that. You can also now decide that you, you want to become the best at what you do. Right? And when you put in time, you eventually become great at what you do. Right? And that's how money is. Money respects those who respect it. Money respects people that put money to work. That's it. There's no secret behind anything. So that's rule number one. Money is a game. Number two is that money doesn't like people who hate money you talk bad about money you look at Percy oh no that's not true he's lying it cannot be possible how can you get something that you already think you cannot get it so fix your mind it's an energy money is energy fix it embrace it that's what money is about Money doesn't like people who are desperate. And let me break it down. If you are not planning ahead, you are not, a, it's a gradual and steady process. That's how money works. So money, it's like, let me use this because let's, it's a relationship, seduction. You have a woman, you have to seduce the woman, right? You have to make, no, seriously. You need to make sure that you are putting in the effort. If you don't put in the effort, your girlfriend is going to leave you. The reverse goes for the woman also. If you're sitting in there, when I met you, you used to put on your makeup, you're looking good, and the rest, and then now you, you're comfortable, you don't want to take good care of yourself. Obviously, somebody is going to snitch in. So you need to be consistently working together. You need to consistently seduce the money. Percy said something very important. He said, my book money is sitting in a separate account. And you know what that money is sitting there doing? He didn't say it's sitting there doing nothing. It says it's earning interest. That's the seduction I'm talking about. Right? So, number three. Money doesn't like to be bored. Bored. Boredom. Number three is boredom. Money doesn't like to be bored. You put money to work. For example, you have money, you get your salary, and you say, let me take this thousand, put it in my pocket. I'm not going to touch it, but let it sit there. What normally happens after two days, or even after a day? The money is gone. So pay yourself first, put that money to work. 10% of every single income you earn is yours to keep forever. It means let that money work like no one's business. For lack of better word, no one's business. Let it work because you work hard for that money. Right? So money hates boredom. 
That's number three. Money hates boredom. Number four is money needs someone who specializes. Right? So by that I mean that it's an energy. So you need to you need to put it into a concentrated bucket. And that means that you cannot be doing this and you do this and you touch that and you touch that like a lost puppy. You're going up and down everywhere and you expect that money to also go up and down everywhere. It's not going to work. Right? So, so that's what money is all about. It's a simple thing. You put it to work, you make it work, it comes in, you grow it again, it comes in, you grow it again. That's how money is. It's my grandmother taught me this when I was a young kid. And I never realized how smart my grandmother was until I read The Richest Man in Babylon. Every time I went to the market to sell, at the age of 11, I was selling. And every time I went to the market to sell, when I come back, my grandmother never gave me money. She gave me eggs. Every day, one egg as a reward. Because why? Money is the harvest of our production. That's what money is. It is the reward you get after you have provided a service. Now, once you've provided that service, what do you do with that reward? Let me go back to my grandmother's story. So you put that one egg in, you put it one egg in until it gets to 10. After it got into 10, you take that nine out to do whatever you want to do with it. Fry it, boil it, do whatever, put it in your food, whatever that you want to do with it, but keep one. Now, when I read The Richest Man in Babylon, it says 10% of every single money you, you earn is yours to keep forever. Now, what was my grandmother doing to me? 10%. You take, you have 10, you keep one. That is 10% of what you've earned. Right? So that is, that is how money works. Money respects people who respect it. As simple as that. I don't know what other people do, but I can talk for myself. That if you treat that money in a clean environment, it works harder. Your partner is sales. If you create businesses, SaaS is going to pay you. That's, that's how it works. If you build properties, the government is going to pay you tax relief. That's how it works. So put money into places that people respect it and will reward you. And therefore, every single year when you do your tax return, when you are paying, I'm earning. I'm receiving from the tax man you are putting in. Because it's, I'm not saying you, I'm not you guys sitting here. But I'm just saying, as you pay your tax, man, we are receiving because we have created jobs. And we have to be incentivized by creating jobs. We have provided shelter, which is one of the basic needs of human beings. Shelter, food, electricity, water, clothing. Without clothes, we can't be here. We'll be naked here. So those are the basic needs of human beings. And that's what money works for. And anybody sitting here, I believe, have the mental capacity because your mind is just a creative thing. It's just an imagination. What you imagine, if you go to bed and you dream and you really want to make it a reality, it can happen. It takes time though, and it takes hard work. It does. But it's with consistency, starting early and being patient money will be working for you. So that, that is the rule of money and how money works. Be a legacy builder. Watch the next video and don't forget to subscribe.